everyone this video is going to be very important because in this video I am going to answer one of the most asked questions at the last month of CSI net exam that is what is going to be the last minute suggestions last minute tips how to brush up everything all together how to revise everything all together quick revision so many things people ask about quickly and fast and all but uh, to be honest in the very frank thing uh, for knowledge, for education, there is nothing called fast and quick. But what I can say is that if you prepare CSI net topics and subjects for the 13 units for the last six months, then I can get you somewhere near and to explain which topics you need to focus now and what the, should be the way of preparation from now on. Because it's only 16, 15, let's say two weeks at max left at this time. In this two weeks, there is nothing new to be read. There is nothing new. In this time, whatever you prepared, this is the time to get it revised. And the revision that should be taken at this point is regarding every single topic, every single uh, unit that you've covered. You know, uh, maybe you covered all the 13 units, maybe you haven't covered all the 13 units, maybe you covered only 8, 10 units. Whatever units you've covered, you go through that units and for every single unit, there are specific topics which are more important compared to the other topics. So the list of that topic I'll discuss at the end of the video. So keep watching that video where I'll discuss for every single unit which topics are more important and how many number of questions you can expect from each of those topic and subtopics for CSI NET upcoming June 2019 CSI NET exam. And at this point, revise them and it's time to check your concepts by solving MCQ questions. Now from where you will solve MCQ question, there are plenty of books none of them are very close and get even near to the actual CSI net papers for the last 10, 15 uh, question papers. So you go with last 10 years or you can go with 10 papers at least for last 5 years that will serve you the purpose of understanding the uh, the angle of asking question in CSI net exam and also that will help you to, to guide through uh, the process of learning new things because you take the question paper, you try to solve it. Now you probably have correctly solved the question or you may not. If you fail to solve that question correctly, you check why not and what new topic you need to learn to be able to solve that question. So when you are checking which new topic to be learned, you can either find it from your book or from internet and actually use internet because it's easy to search in Google rather than browsing through the books. So you search it in the Google, you find it, you read it, that topic you didn't know. That's the reason you failed to solve that question earlier. That's the way to find out the topics that you didn't know before uh, going into the taking the CSI net exam actually at the day of the exam. We, what we do actually in the revision, we simply read and read and read from the old stuff and when we read the old stuff again and again, it feels like we know everything. But when we start to answer that, think about what, what was there, then we find out like something was missing. For that reason, we probably have seen a graph we remember how the graph looks like, but we don't remember what was present in the x-axis and what was present in the y-axis. That's more important to know what is in the x and what is in the y by solving a graph. Because if you know x and y, you know the relation between that. That's the concept that you should focus rather than how the graph looks like. There are so many things like that that you should pay attention to while preparing and while revising for the CSI net exam. So, I'm going to share a list of uh, different uh, topics and how many number of questions you can expect from that in this video right now at the end. But if you need to know, if you want to know about more about the small details, what you need to read and collect before the exam, then obviously our coaching is always open to help you out for the upcoming net exam obviously. The admission is going on. You can simply click on the link in the des description or simply call that number provided in the screen to get yourself registered for the online coaching or the classroom coaching in Kolkata or simply for the mock test series because you may need mock test more from the upcoming 2019 December exam as the CSI net exam pattern is shifted to CBT mode or computer based test mode. So let's see all the list of the questions now. So the most important topic of CSI net unit 1 that is biochemistry. Uh, this topic includes uh, continuing with uh, enzyme catalysis and inhibition. Here mostly you need to read and remember about the equation of enzyme catalysis and that includes uh, that uh, form Eddy Hofstede plot as well as a little bit of Leibniz Burke plot uh, as well as uh, the Michaelis-Menten equation and uh, what is uh, the role of Km, 
what is enzyme affinity uh, enzyme subunits as well as enzyme allosteric regulation process enzyme regulation in a whole particularly enzyme inhibition competitive uncompetitive non-competitive and mixed inhibition with graph carbohydrate biochemistry includes uh, the structure and function of carbohydrates including monosaccharide disaccharide so in this case you need to remember the example of disaccharides and polysaccharides and what are they made up with you also need to know about the stereochemistry a little bit in enantiomers isomers epimers anomers and all then goes like protein biochemistry uh, this is where you need to read uh, the primary structure, secondary structure, tertiary structure, quaternary structure of the proteins. Particularly, you need to know uh, the importance of all these different structures, how they are organized. Uh, you don't need to go with the protein folding much, but particularly the protein domains uh, as well as motifs and, and some example of domain and motifs. And then there will be hemoglobin and myoglobin. Hemoglobin and myoglobin structure their function, particularly the hemoglobin oxygen saturation curve. It's very important for CSNET perspective. Okay, as well as the hemoglobin oxygen saturation curve uh, for a native uh, person living in higher altitude uh, compared with a person living in lower altitude, as well as the hemoglobin oxygen saturation curve for the infant and a normal uh, adult or, uh, person. Okay, and also uh, myoglobin and why hemoglobin? My what is the difference between hemoglobin and myoglobin in terms of oxygen saturation curve? You also need to know about the fibrous protein and example keratin and collagen. Okay, you need to know their composition and how their structure is. Glycolysis, as regarding the biochemistry uh, metabolism now, glycolysis, particularly in metabolism, the aerobic and anaerobic respiration, both you need to remember in anaerobic respiration, you need to know uh, regarding the different types of fermentation, uh, particularly two types, yeah, lactic acid fermentation and, and uh, the ethanol fermentation, the difference and the core cycle. And in the other hand, there is glycolysis, uh, there is TCA cycle, means Krebs cycle, there are pyruvate dehydrogenase uh, complex and electron transport chain, gluconeogenesis, pentose phosphate pathway, all. Now remember the, the marks and the numbers written after the name of the topic indicates the total number of questions you can expect in group C from this corresponding topics. 0 or 1 means you can either get a question or not. Uh, it doesn't matter a lot. Okay. Now you get a glycogen metabolism and particularly the conversion of glucose into glycogen and storing them and also breaking glycogen into glucose and how exactly the blood glucose is regulated by two different hormones, insulin as well as glucagon. And along with that, another very important thing for unit 1 for CSNET exam is the math problems from biochemistry and particularly the math problems from enzyme catalysis, the, the different formula regarding enzyme catalysis that is enzyme affinity as well as the catalytic efficiency of enzymes and you need to know how to calculate them. Then there will be questions regarding uh, the protein or uh, peptide sequencing and as well as there are questions regarding the titration curve of different amino acids. They will ask you to find out the PI values of different amino acids and peptide sequencing sequences as well. Uh, apart from that, there will be questions regarding uh, the half-life decay problems and there will also be questions from the Gibbs free energy change. So these are the topics which are not exactly the part of biochemistry but actually is a part of a raw chemistry and they can also ask you questions regarding uh, this protein uh, structures and functions and where there is another very interesting concept of Ramachandran plot. Very, very important. You can get a question from Ramachandran plot every time and they can also ask you questions regarding the facts or fluorescent assorted cell sources sorting or fluorescent mediated cell sorting process okay that's regarding unit one now you need two for csir ugc net exam and unit two is cell biology of csir net exam and the most important topic of csir net exam for unit two are cell membrane structure and function that is regarding uh, the cell membranes uh, internal structure, the models, the current models, as well as you need to know about a little bit of lipid rafts, you need to know the membrane proteins, the types of membrane proteins, their function, you need to also know about the, uh, the, the different uh, transport uh, property of the membrane proteins and how exactly a carrier is different from a channel protein and all. You also need to know about the membrane lipid asymmetry as well as uh, how exactly this lipid asymmetry is maintained and why it is so important. Membrane transport as I mentioned, it includes the diffusion and osmosis rules as well. Along with that you need to know the active and passive transport of, of membrane. And remember the different uh, molecules going in and out of the membrane depending upon their permeability through membrane. Cell organelles, cell organelles including all the organelles including nucleus, Golgi bodies, mitochondria, uh, lysosome, uh, ribosome and all. 
then there are vesicle trafficking in vesicle trafficking you need to know about how protein after production of the proteins how the proteins are packaged inside a vesicle and they are transported both retrograde and anterograde trafficking including cop1 cop2 proteins okay as well as the endocytosis processes receptor mediated endocytosis as well protein translocation in cell organelle how exactly the protein is delivered from the cell into organelle like mitochondria or delivering inside nucleus with the help of a nuclear localization signal and mitochondrial delivery signal how exactly it's done particularly for mitochondria and chloroplast as well as lysosome chromatin structure regulation this is regarding a little bit of epigenetics chromatin structure and regulation uh, you know 30 nanometer fiber into nucleosome structure and the components of the nucleosome you need to know the histone proteins the type of histone proteins and the all type of histone protein modification systems so this is really important for unit 2 now if you go to unit 3 that is uh, the molecular biology techniques uh, and not only techniques but rest of the molecular biology including the three important central dogma of biology topic like DNA replication and DNA replication you need to mostly focus on prokaryotic replication DNA replication enzyme and their function DNA replication prokaryotes uh, tRNA charging and modification that is a question regarding the translation tRNA charging and modification which is a prerequisite of prokaryotic translation and protein synthesis you also need to know the protein synthesis in prokaryotes including the steps of protein synthesis as well as the different protein synthesis translation factors transcription in prokaryotes you need to remember the transcription process in prokaryotes in details regarding uh, the role of uh, RNA polymerase how exactly RNA polymerase helps in transcription and all as well as the transcription process in eukaryotes is also equally important and RNA modification after transcription in eukaryotes including the polyadenylation 5 prime capping and also RNA editing process uh, from where well, there this is a lot of part of the RNA biology is very much important for CSI net perspective and CSI net have been asking a lot of questions from RNA biology particularly from this part as well as the RNA I technology both as well as any other genome editing tools that is discovered recently CRISPR Cas9 is also a very very important topic in this talk, chapter now the other things that is equally important is the operon concept and the operon is kind of jumped between unit uh, sometimes say unit 8 you can say or sometimes you can say between unit 2 and 3 so operon is equally important lack operon particularly RNA silencing technology RNA I mRNA SI RNA SH RNA technology and as I mentioned other uh, type of genome editing tool like CRISPR Cas9 that is all about unit 3 for CSANET. Now CSANET unit 4 is the biggest unit and in unit 4 composed of cancer biology, cell signaling, immunology as well as host pathogen interaction topics. So it's less economic, you need to read a lot but you'll get very less questions. So be sure to write and check the number of questions you can expect from each of these topics while you're preparing. Going with cell signaling pathways, very less questions are asked from this part although you need to remember and read all the cell signaling processes particularly uh, the cell signaling including G protein coupled receptor as well as you know receptor tyrosine kinase there is enzyme coupled receptor both are equally important host pathogen interaction can give you one to two questions and from there you can get questions like how exactly bacteria causes infection uh, that means uh, how exactly bacteria start causing uh, decay or any kind of infection that means simply colon attachment adherence colonization and different virulence factors of bacteria how exactly those virulence factors it helps the bacteria to to move inside the tissue and the enzyme secreted by the bacteria to destroy the host tissue and colonize there and grow there cell division regulation cell division questions one to two and the cell division regulation includes cdk and cyclines and all the cdk cycline combinations for the different phases of cell cycle and cell cycle checkpoints why those checkpoints are uh, important and how exactly those che checkpoints are regulated and if there is any fault uh, during the cell cycle then how exactly the checkpoint would recognize the fault and how exactly the cell is going to recruit the checkpoint arrest with the help of proteins like p21 and p53 you also need to know about the cell death signaling pathways like apoptosis signaling pathways that includes the intrinsic pathway of uh, apoptosis as well as extrinsic pathway of apoptosis mitochondrial apoptosis pathway and others and why apoptosis is so important particularly during development and you need to know the pathway of apoptosis clearly particularly those uh, apoptosome formation as well as the uh, disc formation and you also need to know about that uh, caspase pathway apoptosis uh, and role of p53 and how exactly p53 regulates uh, the cell uh, and then controls the cell for either death or survival how p53 recruits p21 and how exactly p p21 is capable of arresting cell cycle at any particular phase 
cancer biology the onset of cancer and all the mechanisms of forming cancer particularly the properties of a cancer cell that means the hallmark of cancer like metastasis and geogenesis uh, their details and importance of that for a cancer cells perspective as well as uh, the different transformation of cell strategy that means how exactly the cell is transformed uh, from normal cell into malignant cell including the insertion deletion mutations and translation translocations uh, mutations as well cancer medication and that includes all the type of cancer drugs that are discovered till this point including monoclonal antibody that is against the herceptin that is against the breast cancer as well as there are other examples uh, either it's a metabolic uh, process inhibitors or it's a atp binding inhibitor cyclin cdk attachment inhibitors and there are many more examples out there you need to remember all those glivector seva some examples like glivector seva uh, herceptin uh, and and all okay immunology in immunology you can get one to two question and there are so many topics that you need to prepare but particularly the questions from immunology will be from the toll like receptors and particularly the cross talk between innate and adaptive form of immune system you also need to talk about the the adaptive immune response uh, that response took place afterwards when a person that is the immunological memory and how exactly immune response the primary and secondary immune response it's very very important for csr net perspective you also need to know about the vaccines for group b remember all the topics that we discussed are the important topics for csr net exam for group c not for the group b so that's regarding the immunology question and and particularly for from that uh, the different types of t cells particularly all the cd cd4 cd8 cd27 and why uh, there are different type of cells for that generally they ask question regarding column 1 to matching from this part and then finally here uh, unit 5 unit 5 is all about uh, the development biology in the development biology we need to talk about the overview of development that is for a basic example that starting from uh, the egg and slowly they start dividing morula blastula gastrula and all the new relation then goes to uh, rest of the organogenesis and the properties fertilization in sea urchin uh, fertilization is a part from which is most important in sea urchin and particularly here you need to know about the mechanism of uh, fertilization fertilization as well as you need to know about you know uh, those binding and binding receptors that help in fertilization you need to know the acrosomal process and what is it and all as well as you need to know the polyspermy prevention the slow block and fast block to polyspermy and how exactly they are done then cleavage and fertilization cleavage and fertilization is another very important cleavage and fertilization includes the types of cleavage that is meroblastic holoblastic cleavage discoidal cleavage rotational cleavage radial cleavage all these examples organizer concept that is regarding something uh, uh, experiments that involved in concrete or idea regarding organizer concept regarding for example you know hensen's node uh, the nogging cord in the receptors that are involved as well as you know spamman mangold organizer concepts like that and uh, new cup center for example okay gastrulation gastrulation in frog is most important apart from the gastrulation in sea urchin is also equally important then uh in the gastrulation you need to know about the three different germ layers from all these three layers like endoderm mesoderm ectoderm what organ structures are prepared then induction is an important step you need to know vulva development in c elegans as well as uh the formations formation of lens tissue in uh frogs development for drosophila drosophila life cycle how exactly drosophila goes from an egg into an adult fly and the slow modifications drosophila gastrulation particularly because they have a syncytial blastoderm how syncytial blastoderm form into cellular blastoderm how exactly the cellular blastoderm slowly modified in uh, and then convert and form structures like intercalated uh, disc like structures uh, outside the body these imaginal discs and those imaginal discs that they form uh from there they form different organ system how exactly this is done you need to know particularly the genetics of drosophila development you need to know about it in details including all the different set of genes like gap genes maternal inheritance genes pair root genes segment polarity genes and homeotic genes and all you also need to know about the drosophila body segmentation mechanism uh as well as uh, like you know uh, regarding a little part uh, say for the chicken embryogenesis and including in chicken embryogenesis new relation uh, of chicken particularly the primitive streak and uh, formation of primitive streak and the new relation process in chicken so that is uh, regarding the unit 5 of developmental biology portion unit 6 for csr ug net exam and the most important topic for unit 6 or plant physiology from human uh in, in the csr ug net exam are water potential water potential is a portions they can ask a little bit questions ascent of sap as well as the phloem loading and loading the process of uh, physiological activities in plants 
photosynthesis is very very important including both light reaction as well as kelvin cycle particularly what happens in photorespiration and why photorespiration is a huge loss and how exactly the loss of photorespiration is revived by the plant cell that's what you need to prepare very well and you also need to know about the c3 pathway for kelvin cycle you also need to talk about the c4 cycle and that's also followed by, by c4 plants as well as camp plants and the similarity and differences between c3 c4 and camp plants is very very important remember that and plant hormone basics uh, means all the five hormones oxygen zebrilin cytokinin ethylene abscisic acid these five top hormones uh, how they function what are their importance and all particularly oxygen transport and signaling how exactly oxygen get transported from one cell of the plant to the other cell via the form of iaa with the different oxygen transport channels zebrilin and how zebrilin functions zebrilin signaling abscisic acid what is abscisic acid how it functions and signaling of abscisic acid ethylene particularly ethylene signaling signaling because ethylene is the only gaseous hormone and how ethylene signaling works that is really really important cytokinin and function of cytokinin how it signals and ultimately plant secondary metabolites plant secondary metabolites includes all the topics particularly uh, you know the secondary metabolites like alkaloids terpenes and you know uh, phenolic compounds and all of it particularly things that you need to remember and the question will be memory based questions but particularly the questions including uh their structure and sometimes mostly their functions and where they are extracted from so you need to know about the secondary metabolites how they are produced from which plants they are produced and all okay seven uh, for csi net exam is uh, the human physiology so the most important uh, topics from human physiology in csi net exam is endocrine system and hormone signaling one to two questions digestive system and diseases one question nervous system one to two questions Uh, and that includes uh, the nervous system includes uh, resting membrane potential action potential ecg graph cardiovascular system one question particularly intrinsic conduction system and the rest of the process of the blood composition and stuff excretory system one to two question including the formation of urine and the function of nephron respiratory system you can expect one question and the respiratory system generally they ask question inspiration and expiration particularly more important topics are uh the chloride shift reverse chloride shift halden effect and they also can ask you question regarding uh, this cellular level of respiration that concludes unit 7 now let's see unit 8 csi net unit 8 is all about genetics so the most important topics for csi net in life science from genetics are bacterial genetics it includes uh, all the hfr process horizontal gene transfer processes including uh, you know transduction transformation Uh, all these techniques and they ask you one question from there transposable elements uh, that includes transposons uh, both for prokaryotes and eukaryotic origin zero to one question dna mutation one to two question and mutation includes the type of mutation the classes of mutation the mutagenesis how mutagenesis occurs chemical mutagens and physical mutagens and some chemical induced mutagenesis and their role DNA damage and repair, including all the damage repair uh, mechanisms, MMS methyl mismatch repair, nucleotide excision repair, base excision repair, etc. Zero to one questions. DNA recombination, zero to one question, and particularly from uh, the Holly the model and the recombination model questions. Mendelian genetics, zero to one questions. Uh, particularly, they'll ask you more math question rather than a direct theory based question from there. But still, they can ask a plenty of questions, particularly from non Mendelian genetics, including incomplete dominance, co dominance, and polygenic inheritance, uh, phenocopy, pleiotropy, and so on. Human genetics, zero to one question, and particularly the question they will ask here is uh, either a sex determination or uh, X Y linked uh, inheritance, or all about the pedigree analysis. You can get. Uh, one to two questions genetics math problems obviously two questions of for sure that will be from non mendelian inheritance mostly now that concludes unit 8 or genetics of csi net syllabus now unit 9 is all regarding the classification biology and regarding uh, the the you know distribution of animals and plants throughout the indian uh, subcontinent and that will be unit 9 of csi net so the questions important are animal classification one to two questions including uh, the animal classification for vertebrates and as well as invertebrates for invertebrates you need to remember till the phylum for vertebrates you need to remember till the class properties of different phylum and invertebrates one to two properties of different classes of vertebrates so uh, the phylum regarding porifera nidaria tinofera all these different phylum they are important properties and few example animals 
properties for the vertebrates you need to remember till class like like chondritic thysostric thys amphibia reptilia avs mammalia their importance uh, their properties and 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 some examples cladogram analysis is a most important part we will ask you one to two even sometimes more than two questions you can expect from cladogram analysis phenogram analysis or dendrogram analysis math problems from cladogram analysis one to two questions that concludes unit 9 and then some other questions regarding the indian subcontinent particularly the question that will be a uh, kind of bridged question between unit 9 10 and 11 including the the different animal behavior like mimicry as well as the situations including uh, the different biodiversity hotspots in india and the example animals and plants in those hotspots in india okay uh, speci specially uh, the western ghat and eastern himalaya okay now csa net unit 10 is all about the environmental biology it's all about the the environment and the environmental biology topics that is asked in csa net exam includes e ecosystem ecology one to two questions population ecology two questions Pol poly pollution that is greenhouse gas global warming effect zero to one questions community ecology community interactions one question ecological niche concept zero to one question biodiversity and conservation biology they'll give you one to two question and remember in this case ecosystem ecology in population ecology you need to know about the population growth r and k selected species and all the differences regarding uh, the three different types of life type 1 type 2 and type 3 survivorship curves in pollution particularly greenhouse gas and their effects you need to remember in community ecology you need to know uh, the different community interactions including the you know uh, the interactions like mutualism predation competition and on ecological niche concept both fundamental as well as realized niche what are their differences what are the similarities biodiversity and the conservation biology includes simpson and shannon index uh, i'll give you like uh, questions 1 to 2 alpha beta and gamma diversity restoration of the ecosystem uh, restoration of ecosystem includes uh, all those sustainable development policies and how exactly you can restore by either the process of biological augmentation or biological you know preventing biological magnification and restoring e ecosystem and all the other methods of restoration of ecosystem conservation biology obviously uh, that includes the uh, the different national parks sanctuaries and how they work uh, what are their differences the comparison and all and red data list includes all the different classification schemes based on red data list from uh, uh, not vulnerable at all to near threatened and then finally uh, goes to the extinct type okay you need to remember example of few mammal bird species uh, from each of those different uh, different classification scheme of red data list in india ecological biome all the different biomes are uh, their uh, rainfall their primary productivity as well as their net temperature throughout uh, the summer and winter that's what you need to remember that concludes unit 10 now unit 11 it's all about evolutionary biology and the evolutionary biology for csa net life science and the most important topics for csa net in the upcoming exam from unit 11 or evolutionary biology are origin of life particularly sort of experiments yuri miller experiment that includes in the you know held in soup how exactly all originated in the beginning it's so, uh, quasar waves and all question 1 evolutionary theory uh, zero to one question that is lamarckism darwinism and all then the the pace of evolution like punctuated equilibrium or gradualism from there they can ask you zero to one question types of evolution including also that uh, the different modes of evolution you know uh, the the uh, adaptive radiation process as well as divergent convergent and parallel evolution with examples causes of evolution you need to remember like mutation migration and all okay speciation all the types of speciation allopatric speciation peripatric speciation parapatric speciation and why they are different type of speciation what are the differences everything you need to know evolutionary laws all the different laws dolos law copes law regarding evolution ontogeny recapitulates phylogeny laws like that you need to remember geological time scale you'll get at least one question from geological time scale altruistic behavior the reciprocal altruism as well as the kin selection and particularly hamilton's rule this is where you can get one question to answer population genetics including hardy and weinberg equilibrium that is p plus q whole square equals to 1 p square plus 2 plus 2 pq plus q square equals to 1 question from this particularly math question from population genetics genetics of uh, fitness what is fitness uh, the definition why fitness is so important and how exactly fitness determines the outcome of evolution 
math problems from Hardy Weinberg equilibrium one to two question from there so this is a list of number of question you can expect from CSI net unit 11 that is evolutionary biology now uh, CSI net unit 12 that is applied biology in the applied biology section you can expect questions like transgenic plants and animals zero to one question gene therapy zero to one question particularly gene therapy uh, which is applicable to cystic fibrosis and in some cancers where the gene therapy found to be effective and why the gene therapy is non-effective in other examples particularly the examples of gene therapy in vivo and ex vivo gene therapy and all industrial microbiology of food production in this case you need to know the fermentation types of fermentation that is batch production uh, continuous fermentation as well as fed batch fermentation and the example of product that is produced with batch fed batch and continuous fermentation and what are their comparative analysis between the three type of fermentation which is better which is not and so on and also uh, you need to know the questions regarding a typical bioreactor plant breeding you can expect one to two questions from plant breeding that conventional mar uh, plant breeding versus marker assisted selection QTL mapping quantitative trait loci mapping with QTL and why it is so important plant tissue culture one to two question regarding the plant tissue cultures the environment of plant tissue culture how exactly we can culture micro propagation particularly uh, the basics of tissue culture the medium of tissue culture the macro and micro elements of the plants and which elements are helping in which different function of a plant as well as you need to know the different types of tissue culture including root tip culture shoot tip culture as well as uh, you know germplasm preservation you also need to prepare the callus formation and callus for inducing medium and why callus is induced and how callus is induced you also need to know somatic embryogenesis and particularly the stages of somatic embryogenesis why somatic embryogenesis is so important how to convert somatic embryos into artificial seeds and what are the comparison between somatic embryo and the other zygotic embryo plant biotechnology you can expect one to two questions from there it includes the marker genes, uh, the selection, uh, selectable markers, as well as the reporter genes, the difference between marker and reporter, as well as the positive marker, negative markers, as well as you need to know the TI plasmid, why TI plasmid is so important, the components of the TI plasmid, how exactly the agrobacterium transfers the T region of the uh, TI plasmid into the plants, and how exactly we can instigate the agrobacterium, we can use agrobacterium to deliver our target gene of interest inside the plant cell, whether the TI plasmid mediated uh, gene delivery is good or not how much stability is and there are other modes of plant gene delivery vehicles and systems both naked DNA delivery as well as the closed DNA delivery system the con comparison between all the delivery systems including biolistics uh, as well as you know different uh, vehicles like uh, vesicle filled with uh, you know uh, vesicle made with a membrane or uh, particle guns that we use and and the comparison between all okay and also regarding the different types of vectors that we use in plant biotechnology including uh, the chimeric vectors that that we can form the binary uh, vector and quantic red vector the differences as well okay now CSR net unit 13 the last unit of CSR net and then CSR net unit 13 the most important topic for this upcoming CSR net exam are recombinant DNA technology techniques including all the RDT techniques that is RDT enzymes that we use the recombinant DNA technology enzymes that we use and particularly the recombinant DNA technology enzymes uh, involved uh, in uh, the treatment to the vector what is vector how exactly the molecular cloning is done and also need regarding the multiple cloning sites sub cloning and all the details we also need to know about uh, the gene libraries uh, either it's a uh, genome whole genome library or cdna library what's the difference how to prepare cdna library and all pcr and types of pcr all the different types of pcr including the nested pcr the colony pcr the hot start pcr uh, as well as the time uh, you know uh, re real-time PCR and why real-time PCR is better than and the normal type of PCR and some examples for that DNA sequencing and from DNA sequencing including the unit sequencing like uh, the Sanger method of sequencing apart from that the next generation sequencing Illumina sequencing uh, 454 sequencing ion torrent sequencing all the different next generation sequencing methods and what's the difference between the Illumina next generation sequencing along with uh, the Sanger sequencing and particularly those those uh, sequencing methods involving uh, the generation of light and quantitative analysis of the sequencing microchip technology as well 2d gel electrophoresis why 2d gel electrophoresis is so important and what is the advantage of two-dimensional gel electrophoresis over single dimensional gel electrophoresis molecular markers example RAPDA FLP RFLP and why we use them how we use them 
and how we can use them to find out a paternity, how we use them to find out the criminal, particularly in forensic departments. NMR spectroscopy, uh, particularly the mechanism of NMR spectroscopy and we need to read the data, the graph from NMR spectroscopy, the mass and charge ratio of NMR spectroscopy and what it's going to tell us. Circular dichroism, also known as CD, the CD spectra analysis and also knowing uh, what CD is going to offer us regarding uh, a particular protein and protein structure. Immunological assays are for disease detection and particularly in all the type of immunological uh, assays involving both uh, qualitative as well as quantitative assays including ELISA, RIA, it includes uh, the Coombs test, it includes the uh, octolonic double diffusion, immunoelectrophoresis and so on. That includes two different types of methods, uh, coagulation based and precipitation based methods and we'll see both here. Now all the topics that I mentioned regarding the CSI net exam, remember from unit 1 to unit 13, these all topics are most important topics for CSI net exam, not only for the December CSI net exam, but also the CSI net exam in the June 2019, for the June 2019 as well as the December 2019. It is best for reading all these topics that I mentioned in this video for both June as well as your December net preparation. Remember that subtopics are also mentioned. And remember all the topics that I shared actually, these topics are the ones which we focus more in the Shomus Biology CSI net online coaching as well as Shomus Biology CSI net offline or classroom coaching. Even uh, there are more subtopics in the divisions that we discuss and top, uh, talk about in every single classes. If you master these topics, for CSI net exam, you will definitely get to answer more questions in the question paper and you can prepare yourself in very less amount of time, particularly if you devote four to six hours a day uh, for six months. And if you focus on these topics that we discussed and if you prepare them well with the help of my videos and lectures and processes, you'll definitely be able to qualify. And actually, you have the higher chance of attending maximum questions. And as you can attend maximum question, you have more chance of qualifying the CSI net exam much easily. So this is a uh, it, folks so, so it's from the CSI net unit 1 to CSI net unit 13 the most important topics for CSI UGC net exam in life sciences this time for this upcoming June 2019 the upcoming June uh, December 2018 as well as June 2019 as well as Ju December 2019 exam okay so if you like this video definitely hit the like button because I, I've created this video by uh, taking a lot of time collecting all the materials for you. So that's simplest thing that I can ask you to offer me Just hit the like button share this video with your friends so that they also get to know which topics they need to recapitulate just before uh, One week of the CSI UGC net exam. So that's it for today We'll meet for another video regarding the same uh, some interesting topic of CSI net exam So if you like this video, please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel to get uh, more and more notification like that to your screen. Thank you.